Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Florian. Good to see you. Hope you all guys doing fantastic. So guys, today we're talking about 10 photo and video accessories for under 100 pounds. And the thing is, I use every single one of it. So I can recommend it and it's worth having them. The good thing is it's under 100 pounds and some of them are even little as 25 pounds. So let's dive straight into it. So the first item is definitely quick release plates. And you might know them from your tripod, but I do use them on my gimbal, on my gorilla pod, on any sort of tripod. It's easy, they are cheap, they cost around 20 quid on Amazon, and it's just easy to take your camera and mount it from your tripod over to your gorilla pod or even onto a little tripod. Simple, easy, effective. You don't need to always twist on the quick release plate on the bottom. Get some quick release plates and you easily switch your camera from a tripod onto your gimbal or from a gimbal back onto the tripod. Very simple, easy. Those quick release plates I use, they are cheap-ish budget options. They cost around 20 quid but there are also more expensive versions where you just need to press a button and you can switch off your camera off a quick release plate. However, those quick release plates, three turns and your quick release plate is tightened up and ready to use. Very simple, easy. So the next item comes in one of those little pouches and the good thing is you even could hook it onto your camera bag. I'm talking from a Falcon Eye F7 Mini, a little LED light, which is absolutely fantastic. It gives you a very great, powerful light output. It's a sRGB light, so you can change the color if you want. We can do this right now and quickly change the color from blue to green if you wanted to. But also it gives you a natural daylight output if needed or you can throw it in a background. Usually I got a blue-ish background. This is lit with this little Falcon Eye F7 Mini. But also the interesting or the nice part of it, it comes with the grid as well and with the diffusion panel as well. And it costs around 55 quid on Amazon. And I need to say this little light is definitely very handy. And the nice thing is it got magnets at the back and you could clump it on top of my boom arm and I could light downwards if wanted. So it's very handy and even like if you wanted to vlog out in the evening or you go out in the evening and you want to vlog and you don't have a light source, you could switch this little light on, put it on top of your camera or even just hold it in front of your face and you will have enough light output to light up your face to give your face the right exposure. So definitely worth having those little lights. It got several scene modes as well, like ambulance, lightning, etc. So definitely worth having in your camera bag. <laughs> as we all know, vloggers like a good gorilla pod. I'm using a gorilla or Joby gorilla pod, one kilogram payload. And I do have a hate love relationship with this thing. I think it's definitely handy to have one, but also sometimes it's a bit annoying because the legs are moving around and you need to adjust the legs. But then on the other hand side, it's very handy if you want to clump your camera with the gorilla pod onto a fence and you want to record yourself or you put it on a table. So definitely a little bit of hate love relationship with this tripod, but definitely handy to have. Right now, if you go out vlogging, you literally can hold the camera with your gorilla tripod and yeah it makes life a bit easier but sometimes i think it's a bit pain in the ass i do apologize for my language guys but i think as more you're going to use it as more you will get used to it and as more you will love it also what i would like to mention guys i'm going to leave every single link down in the comments what gear i use what i can recommend and yes it is 
uh, affiliation link of Amazon guys, but it won't be any additional cost for you. I will get a small percentage and it would help me out to keep doing what I do for you guys and to show you those comparisons or reviews or whatever I gonna do. So much appreciated. So number four is definitely comes down to vlogging. So we all like a good vlog and we're all watching different vlogs on YouTube. So, and when you vlog, you definitely got an ND filter. And sometimes we're gonna use different lenses, a small lens, a medium lens, a prime lens, a zoom lens. However, we don't wanna buy for every single lens an ND filter. So what you can do is you can buy those step down rings. So basically what this means, I got a 77 mil thread filter, ND filter here, but my lens is just 72 mil thread. So you can use the step down ring, which basically just goes onto your ND filter like this. And then your bigger filter will go onto your lens. And you can use a bigger sized filter on a smaller sized thread lens and you don't need to buy every single time a new filter. Definitely very handy right now if you have several lenses in several threads or in similar threads like 77 down to 72. Doesn't even make a huge difference either when it's actually mounted onto the lens and you barely could tell it is mounted with a step down ring. So we're still in the vlogging area currently. So we're all started out some point trying to vlog with the camera which doesn't got the flip out screen. So the next item gets delivered in this little pouch is from Ulansi or Uric and it is actually a vlogging mirror and I used this as I started out with my vlogging on my Fujifilm X-T3. So the thing what it does is basically it mirrors your screen and you can see your screen when you vlog and you hold it like this. It's literally just like a little cheap plastic mirror which reflects the screen up into the mirror and you literally can see yourself and you can see your settings and you're gonna make sure that your settings are right. So definitely this little vlogging mirror I think costs 10 or 15 pounds. It's even far below 100 pounds as I mentioned earlier but it's definitely one of the best, cheapest options to start vlogging with the camera, which doesn't got a flip out screen. Still sticking in a vlogging area. We all want nice, crisp audio. So the next item again gets, uh, gets delivered in this little leather PVC pouch. And it's actually a little shotgun mic from Boya around 25 to 30 pounds off Amazon, but it will improve your audio quality already dramatically. So, and it's very light, compact. It doesn't need any batteries. You literally just plug it in and play. And if you have it on top of your camera, it doesn't even look massive as a setup anymore. It's small, compact, but will improve your sound quality dramatically compared to the onboard mic from your camera. Here's an item I didn't pay attention a long time to it. And actually it's probably one of the most important items. A little SD card case, which is shockproof and waterproof. And we all know the situation. You come home, you take your SD card, you download your images and then you throw your SD card onto your table and you leave them there. They get dusty and whatever else might happen to them. So having a little SD card pouch or case to have your SD cards in. And yes, guys, I still own one or two of those very old SD cards as well. They are actually empty. There's nothing on it anymore, but it's actually quite funny to look at them and think like, wow, four gigabyte uh, SD card, that's ridiculous compared to what we're using now, 32, 64, 128 gig, or even a terabyte you could have, or even more if you wanted to. So definitely very handy to have one of those little pouches. If you have seen my last video, I've been talking about vintage lenses. And that's 
probably just my own personal preference to actually have one or two old vintage lenses because they're actually quite fun to use and they do give you a different type of photography or image because of their age, because of their look and how they feel. And your interaction with your image is also completely different because of you interact more with your image because you set your focus by yourself, you take your time, you slow down when you're taking an image. So definitely an interesting point to have an old vintage lens. You get some as cheap as like five, 10 quid from an antique shop if you wanted to. I bought the Helios 44 mil or 44 M 58 mil f2 recently for 20 quid and this brings me already down to my second or last point in regards the vintage lens you need to adapter as well because you can't mount the old vintage lens onto your modern camera without an adapter and i bought a k and f concept adapter which did cost me also just 20 pounds off Amazon. It's a dummy adapter so there are no connections when you mount a lens onto your camera. It's literally just to fit your lens onto your newer body or onto your newer camera. But it's definitely quite fun to use and I had a hell lot of fun recently as I gone out shooting with the old manual lens. And if you haven't seen my video to this, I'm gonna link it up here. So dive over, have a watch, let me know what you think. So yeah guys, that's basically number 10 or number nine and 10 combined old vintage lens with the adapter just for the fun part of it, but also images coming out nicely, giving you a different type of feel. And yeah guys, that's my 10 points or 10 items which I can recommend, which cost under 100 pounds and which are definitely worth having in your camera bag. So guys, let me know what you think about those 10 items. Let me know what you already use, what you don't use or you might consider. With that said guys, I hope those 10 items might be of interest to you or are interesting or interest of you, for you, whatever. And with that said guys, I'm gonna see you my friend very soon in another video. Cheers guys.